Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations, in this series we are going to solve one very interesting polynomial equation. Our equation is x minus 5 whole cube plus x square plus 5 whole cube equal to x square plus x whole cube. We have to find out the real values of x. So let's get started. If I will consider this one as a and the second parenthesis as b, then I can see it is a cube plus b cube written. So I can use the algebraic identity, which is a cube plus b cube. It is a plus b times a square plus b square minus ab. I will use this identity. Let's apply here as per our problem. So in first parenthesis, LHS. Let me calculate LHS first. So I can write a plus b. Let me write x minus 5 plus x square plus 5. Now you can see minus 5 plus 5 will be over. Now come to a square plus b square minus ab. So a square. So I will write x minus 5 whole square. b square. So I will write x square plus 5 whole square. Then I will write minus ab. So let us find out AB separately or because of it is not going to cancel, better is to write here. That term will be cancelled with the first two brackets. So we have to write all together. So I will write AB. So what is A? X minus 5. B is X square plus 5. Done. So here we are having X plus X square. In bracket I will write A square plus a minus b whole square a square plus b square minus 2ab again a plus b whole square a square plus b square plus twice ab now i have to consider minus sign and then i will consider the product x times x square x cube x times 5 5x minus 5 times x square minus 5x square minus 5 times plus 5 minus 25 bracket is closed now you will consider the first bracket unchanged now come to this bracket if you will see x power 4 is there so i can write x power 4 over there okay let me write here x power 4 now 10x square plus x square 11x square these three terms are over now what is left minus 10x plus 50 so minus 10x plus 50 these all terms are over now minus x cube minus 5x plus 5x square you will change the sign because minus is outside the bracket then plus 25 let me write x plus x square in the first bracket then x power 4 minus x cube then we are having 11 x square plus 5 x square 16 x square minus 10 x minus 5 x so minus 15 x then 50 plus 25 that would be 75 so let me write directly 75 okay that is our this is our left hand side now we have to put this value equal to rhs rhs is again whole cube so see x plus x square we will cancel let me write this equal to each other first so i will write x plus x square equal to or x power 4 minus x cube plus 16 x square minus 15x plus 75 equal to now i will write x square plus x whole cube don't expand here because i will cancel these two this term i will cancel with the power 2 2 will be left as an exponent now once we are cancelling it so that is our solution so what i will write here x square plus x equal to 0 is our solution or 
if you will take x common then x plus 1 or 1 plus x equal to 0 which will give us x is equal to 0 or negative 1 is our real solution so we will accept it now what is left we will only equate rhs is x square plus x whole square and lhs is x power 4 minus x cube plus 16 x square minus 15 x plus 75 let's put over there so i will write x power 4 minus x cube plus 16 x square minus 15 x plus 75 equal to x square plus x whole square now i will write x power 4 minus x cube plus 16 x square minus 15 x plus 75 equal to a plus b whole square again a square plus b square plus 2ab so 2x cube cancel whatever you can these term i will cancel now what is extra no nothing now we have to shift all the term to rhs so take all the term to right hand side so 2x cube and minus x cube it will add so 3x cube in total x square is there 16 will be there so minus 15 x square now there is no x term in the rhs it will become plus 15 x and minus 75 equal to 0 now you can see we can divide by 3 so divide this equation with 3 I will write x cube minus 5x square plus 5x minus 25 equal to 0. This is one cubic equation. So we will use the rational root theorem. So for this, we have to know the eligible factors of this number. So it is plus minus 1, plus minus 5 and plus minus 25. If I will put x equal to 1, is there any solution? No. 1 minus 5, add all the coefficients. So plus 5 minus 5 will be over. No solution. Minus 1 you won't get. Let us put x is equal to 5. So 5 cube is 125. Again it is 5 times 5 is square. So 5 cube 125. Then I will write 25. 5 times 5 minus 25. Yes, it is 0. So x equal to 5 is our base solution that is also real solution. Now I will use synthetic division method. Easy and simple one. Synthetic division method. Let me write all the coefficients of the cubic equation. The coefficient of x square minus 5, coefficient of x 5, constant minus 25. Then I will put one line over there, leading coefficient as it is 1. Now 1 times 5, 5, 0. 0 times 5, 0, 5. 5 times 5, 25, 0. These are the coefficient of quadratic equation. So equation is x square plus 0x. So no need to write plus 5. So I will write x square plus 5 equal to 0. That means x square is equal to negative 5. Or we can write x square equal to 5 i square as we know i is a square root of negative 1 so i square is negative 1 okay so let's take a square root both sides x will become plus minus i root 5 which is our complex solution so we will reject because we are finding only real values of x okay now we will verify all the three values. So for solution is x is equal to 0, x is equal to negative 1, 0, minus 1 and 5. Let's verify. Let's find out the verification for x equal to 0. Okay, 0. So it will become minus 5 whole cube plus 5 whole cube. Right hand side if you will see. 0 cube that means 0. Left hand side minus 1 to 5 plus 1 to 5 equal to 0. 0 equal to 0 verified. Okay. Now come to second value negative 1. If I will put negative 1 over there then it will become minus 6 whole cube 
plus negative 1 over there then 6 whole cube equal to negative 1 square is 1 and then negative 1 whole cube. So it is minus 216 plus 216 equal to 0 cube that means 0, 0 equal to 0. This is also verified. Now come to x equal to 5. I will put 5 then it will become 0 cube first term 5 minus 5. Then 5 square is 25 plus 5, 30 whole cube. Okay. Now see the right hand side. 5 square is 25 plus 5, 30 whole cube. That means 2, 7, 1, 2, 3 equal to 2, 7, 1, 2, 3 zeros. Both sides are equal. This is also true. So these are our final real values 0, negative 1 and 5. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck.